Nice to meet nice you. To meet. Okay, tell me what about the plan. Um, okay, so first I just wanted to introduce you to an idea called Flow, a concept Flow. called Flow. Okay. So can you imagine doing something you really enjoy? Um, for me, it's surfing. Mm -hmm. um, and what's that feeling when you're doing it? Um, it might be that you're not thinking about anything else. Time stops. You've been back in, you know, an hour's gone. You haven't yeah, noticed. Yep. You, 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 yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and how's your day run after you've done that activity? Like, um, in terms of focus and how you feel. You feel more, that, more refreshed and yeah, alive. Yeah. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, is that achieved for things like meditation? Gives it. Is that yeah, it's a slightly idea? different yeah. effect in the brain, okay. but okay. yeah. Um, similar sort of evidence emerging. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, you know how underlying mental health um, issues, um, like to depression, high stress, yeah. um, result in you know four percent of GDP loss per year, um, and it's kind of the stigma and the symptoms that stop people doing things that can help them with their condition. Mm. And this particular stigma makes it difficult for other people in their lives to help them do mm. activity. Mm. Um, so what we're doing is we're connecting people on a platform um, to do those activities, which is getting into the flow okay. by their method of their choice. And that's an accessible and engaging way that their friends and family can also do that activity with them. Okay. Um, uh, oh yeah, so we're, create, we're creating an app where you can, you can jump onto the app. Yeah. Um, there's lists by your area by the interest type. Some of them are virtual and some of them are physical. And you can see what's going on that meets suits your interests. And there's also a question at the beginning where if you don't know what your interest is anymore, yeah. you can find out what that is. But, but, and will you, but you're yeah. going to charge them on a subscription basis, on a per person who signs up basis, or how do you have you thought about that side of it? Um, I haven't thought about that as much on the focus yet, but yeah. um, their, their page will they have a paid page. Yeah. Um, and that will be, I guess, very impressive. But um, we definitely want to focus on how on the commitment. Like if they're coming along often. Yeah. That's good for us and yeah. people, and it's good yeah. for their studio. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic idea. It's a great idea, and you're absolutely right. The, 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 the evidence is very clear that if we get into an activity that provides a sort of um, ability to detach from the world and focus on something that's enjoyable, they come back refreshed, better mental health. But, yeah. That's a small portion of the number of people who've probably got issues. And yeah. That. So I guess that's the thing I'd be trying to spend more time on is understanding how do you grow that amount? How do you grow? Well, yeah. So I think in the stage wise, you know, get the supply side guys on for free. That's, that's important. So you, you have a critical mass there. I think, and on the demand side, I think content marketing, anything you can do to drive traffic into people will. will I mean, it's a great thing to do. But people will look at funding it on the basis of how they see the engagement curve. Yeah. And so the more you see people coming and using it and staying. Will make it a, a, a more sort of viable entity to find. But it's fantastic. You should be proud of it. Well done. Yeah, that's good. The greatest challenge she has is to really think about how she gets people who would use it to come on board in a very low cost way. It's easy to have high marketing budgets. She'll never have that. So using content marketing around mental health and flow and sport will be a really strong way to drive demand. That's her greatest challenge right now. Look, I, th I think there's a difference in her idea to other sort of in involved sport marketplaces because she's trying to have this sense of using it as a mental health tool. So she can probably get a lot of support out of the mental health industry to drive it. But again, it's early days of thinking how you build out that, that marketplace. But it's a really good idea, strong idea.